Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a love energy reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of March through April or whenever you stumble upon this reading. All right, let's get into it. Virgos. Love <clears throat> energies for the sign of Virgos for the month of March through April. Four of Wands. The World. Beautiful. Ooh! Cards are flying out. Love energies for the sign of Virgo. The Hermit. I believe the Hermit is your card, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, not that one. Okay. Virgo energies for March. Love energies. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Love energies for the sign of Virgo, the star. The lovers. Wow, Virgo. Amazing reading. Love energies for the month of March. Page of Wands. Love energies for the sign of Virgo. Knight of Pentacles. And Ten of Swords coming through with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's dive right into it, Virgos. We have the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is about celebrations. But before we dive into that, I want to see this, this square right here, which is four major arcanas right in here, in the middle, in the center of your reading, with the world, the hermit, the star, and the lovers, which really guides me to... Um, uh, a relationship situation where you 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 close the cycle and but you you went within and you really have your hopes up high that the, this this relationship or this connection you had is going to come back in and you know, it is something that you really, really had to reflect on. Uh, was was this the right thing to do? Uh, should I have stayed with this person? Was this person meant for me? We will dig deeper, you know, we will pull cards and dig uh, deeper within this reading. But so far, these are these four major arcana that really just jump out at the, 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 the end of a cycle with but really the hopes of... Uh, and dreams and making things happen again with this connection because I have this these four of wands here and the uh, ace of pentacles which is a celebration of a, a complete new new adventure you know a new start the the ace of pentacles in in you know in the lovers reading is you know the, the lovers is partnership the duality and you know um um uh, a union and this is really a union you had with someone this is really something that was intense this was something you you know really thought was for the long run and was your person and so 
you are you celebrating we will we'll, we'll pull cards are you celebrating a renewal of this um of this connection of this union of this soulmate connection are you celebrating a new beginning we will see we will pull cards but you're definitely independent now you were free and independent of something virgo so you might have freed yourself from a person from the past or freed yourself from a person that you were with that didn't you know that didn't correspond to your vibe and you're waiting slowly waiting for this person from the past to come back in and the person from the past you know sort of it was rough it was difficult so are you celebrating that this is coming back in it is possible you know the it's it, the 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 ace of pentacles is the manifestation of abundance and a manifestation of something beautiful that is happening in your life and you are celebrating the manifestation of this new new opportunity new abundance that is in your life what are you celebrating is this the love connection that you really wished for that was coming back in that you had to dig you know your soul had to dig deeply to figure out is this for me and do I want to want to free myself from a situation to be independent again and enjoy my freedom so this person can come back and open up the door for this person to come back. It was hard. It was hard. Or at least it was a hard um, situation, connection to get out of. Right? But now you regret, Virgo. You regret. But you're you're free now. You're free. You're free of you regret that person from the past. But I think you're you know are you with someone now? I don't know. We will pull cards. Let's see. Let's see what this love energy is all about. Why is the four of wands here uh, for the sign of Virgo in love? Why is the four of wands here for the sign of Virgo? Thank you. Yes. Yes, you want to officialize something. You really want to officialize a new beginning with this, this, this lover here, Virgo. The, this is the Hierophant, making things official, signing a contract, being, you know. Um, the Hierophant is really about, you know, you can get married or you want to make something official. You know, the Hierophant is all about... Um, uh, spiritual wisdom and traditions and you know you you really are you know um, conforming you want to you want to conform you want to make this official right you want to believe in this tradition and you know this is the the, the hierophant is institutions so it's marriage divorce going back to school it's the church it's you know but within this reading, with this uh, love connection, it is really celebrating. And because we have the Four of Wands, this can be a marriage. A marriage, a new opportunity, or this person that you really love, that, that, you know, that came back into your life, or that you went to get. Right? This is vice versa. Again, always take these energies uh, as they are in your life, as, they, you know, as you connect with them. And they can be you or the other person, you know, or you're, or if these are, if you are a cross watcher, it can be you, you know, or vice versa. So this is definitely a connection you want to build on. You want to celebrate. So you might be getting married, Virgo. You might be getting married. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for the sign of Virgo? I, I am... I am really connecting the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's been difficult. So, I mean, it's been difficult. You're at the end of a cycle. And the, the, the Ten of Wands 
is um, uh, it's you know the extra responsibility it's hard work it's you know it's it's the completion it's the completion of something you worked really hard at so I, I'm I'm believing that you know this is something you're freeing yourself from because it's at the ten of wands, so it's the end of that burden cycle, that the end of that heavy cycle of maybe you know someone you were with precedingly. Let's see why the ten of wands is there. I don't know why I have that vibe since the beginning that you were just with someone. Yes, yes, the five of swords, and it was conflictual. It was very conflictual. And I, I believe that this is a person w that you were with just now or not long ago that didn't correspond to you. You just didn't connect or you connected in the beginning, but then little by little, you know, faded away. And this is a new cycle with this person here that, you know, you hope for so much, Virgo. This is someone you hoped were was going to come back into your life and... um that you knew, you know, that we have the Six of Cups here, which is nostalgia, knowing, you know, someone that returns from the past or someone you knew in the past or someone you knew in your childhood that's coming back into your life. And you have this newfound freedom, Virgo, to accept, you know, to welcome, open, open the energies to this, you know, this person coming from the past. Why is the world here for the sign of Virgo in love? Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Yeah, strength. You have strength. I, I, You know, Virgo, you have the hermit. You have strength. You have the star. You have lovers. The fifth, the sixth made this your arcana because you have the hierophant and you're making things official. It has been hard, Virgo. You, It has been hard. This relationship, this just past relationship that you hung on to. Um, I really feel that you know, this is something you had to pull through. You had to pull through. It wasn't for you. This person wasn't for you, but you wanted to make it happen. It was, it was, let's say it was comfortable. You're in your comfort zone. It wasn't comfortable mentally, but you were in your comfort zone. Maybe this person was in your area. Maybe this person was a you know, someone that you met and, you know, you just seemed that it was okay for now and, you know, it was the right person to be at the right time. Was this your soulmate? No. Was this someone you really, you know, wanted to marry or you were madly in love with? No, but it was convenient. There you go. It's an association by convenience. And it was hard. It was a difficult situation, right? There was a lot of conflict there. Probably loved this person, loved each other. But you had this hope all this time that you were with this person. You had this hope that the, the, the love of your life, or at least the connection of your life that you had maybe a long time ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, or, you know, or, you know, it's, it's something, you know, someone, or maybe just five, you know, two, three years ago, but it's, it was the person, your person, Virgo your person that you connected with and to be able to be with your person your soulmate that person that you know just knows you and understands you right away where you have that pure connection with that pure love energy in every sense of the way you are you really hoped that this you know this person would come back in and you would get that soulmate energy back that person that one person Yes, you hoped and you you prayed and you you know you you took a breather after you know that emotional that that hard separation. I want it to conflictual. It was heavy. I get heavy energies, heavy soul searching, heavy conflicts, heavy you had to pull through to understand that, you know, to be with your soulmate or to be with that person, you had to rid yourself of those energies. Yes, a rebirth. There you go. A rebirth. And yes, it is a rebirth. You have the judgment as you renew, rebirth, you're reliving, you're, you're, you're getting out of those. You know what? It's almost like you're getting out of energies where you really thought you were stuck and that was your life and that was you had to what you had to do that was the person you had to be with that was the 
a environment you were you were used to and that is where you were supposed to be and um you thought a lot you thought a lot and maybe not very happy right that's why we have a resurrection maybe you're not very happy but you know that was where you are and that maybe it's financial you know for example if you're married with someone and you're not very happy anymore but you have three kids and you you know you ha are financially secure but you know together but you know separated you might not be financially secure so you just stay for the kids for the for the financial comfort and you know maybe you're not doing that well together but you you know it is convenient and that is the you know the thing you 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 need to do at the moment so maybe you have kids and maybe you need to you know you had to stick it out or maybe it is it was convenient at that time you know during COVID or before COVID and during COVID you realize that, you know, we only have one life and, you know, that person I really, really loved or I really, really connected with, I really hope she or he comes back into my life because he or she is my person, is the person I should be with. So I see that there is, you know, a true celebration after conflict and strength you needed strength to end that cycle and a lot of soul searching you have the the judgment coming back out of that that sort of dormant state that you were in you know just that life you had the the banal the the banal life that you had that you thought you had you know life is never banal never never boring you think it's boring but it's not it's whatever you make it you know and you're getting out of that cycle virgo where you 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 are freeing yourself to finally understand that you know your the your life is what you make of it you know and that no one is tying you down but yourself is it easy? No, right? But no one is tying you down but yourself. And once you open up the way, you realize that you can make anything of it. But you need the strength and you need the soul searching. You need to understand who you are, right? And what you're looking for and what you're opening up yourself to. All right. So, um, judgment. Uh, judgment. Ooh, lots of cards. Okay, well, it's, you know, moving away from that situation you were in, whether it's a relationship, you know, life situation, you know, as you connect and come comment down below if you connect with this reading. It's very specific. And um, yeah, yeah, I feel like you're moving away and you're now in control of your life. You're persevering and you're celebrating going forward. There you go. That was exactly it. All right. Now, why is um, uh, one card on the lovers, please? I think, you know, this is, yeah, well, again, we have the, we have the world card. So you are resurrecting this, this connection that you had. And, you know, it, it is a pure, pure connection. And you, you're, you're closing out the old cycles, opening up new cycles. It's a brand new cycle. And that's why you're free and independent financially, uh, intellectually, uh, you know, uh, you are independent now. Look how comfortable she is. She's happy. She's comfortable by herself. She's fine. She, she doesn't need anybody else. But you want your soulmate. So you yourself have freed your mind, freed your soul from whatever was polluting it, you know. To understand that you can have what you want. We have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is all about expansion, creativity, succeeding to, you know, expand your life. Um, uh, freedom. Freedom. Right? And you have the, you have the, um, the chariot. This is the second time the chariot is coming out. Chariot is moving forward, understanding who you are and finding balance in your life and making those decisions to make you move forward in whatever you are looking for, whatever you are hoping for. We have the star you're hoping for and, uh, and this you're hoping to reconnect and revive this uh, union, sacred union you had with this connection. Yes. And, you know... Uh, the Three of Pentacles is, um, um, it, it is 
learning, um, understanding what a union is, what collaboration is, what a learning how to um, be in this sacred union. Understanding finally who you are, who you are going to partner up with, or, or what you want, and how, what this person looks like, and how your your connection is going to be, your energies are going to be. But you really realize that that person was for you, and you you sort of abandon that person. Yes, here we go. Another. This is the second time the Ace of Pentacles comes out. Beautiful reunion, beautiful new start, beautiful reunion of these two people. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune right there, moving forward. Karma's on your side. This is faded. This is something that's going to happen. This is, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is not only luck but it's it's really um being uh being in yourself being in that you know that destiny that turning point you have reached that turning point virgo where there's no looking back you are who you are and you're going to be with your person and we have this six of cups right here your person is coming back or you're going to get that person or vice versa again you know not gender specific, you know, you, 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 you take it as it is. This is, these are, the roles can be reversed. So you can go get that person. That person is coming back in, you know, as, as, as you connect with this reading, but this is really, um, not only, you know, a rebirth and a, an inner calling. It's a, the absolution of this. This is going to happen. This is your inner calling Virgo, that this person is going to come back into your life to celebrate you and finally you're going to find peace you know and the wheel of fortune is the it's the life cycle you have two times the the world card which is this beginning of the cycle that's starting with this person and um you know the the hermit with this, this soul searching and the introspection you know you that's this inner guidance that just you understood that you had to go back to this person or this person had to come back to you. Intense reading, Virgo. Intense reading, yes, for a happy family, you know, a happy union. Um, the, the, the Ten of uh, Pentacles is really about um, finding your... Um, your security your long-term security in in your family you know long-term um success but success in the relationship but ten of pentacles is really long term so you're going back to get this person to you know reconstruct and re rebirth this this connection you had with this person to really you know build a long-term relationship with them why is the six of cups here the six of cups clarify the six of cups for me please why is the six of cups here <coughs> why is the six of cups here yes oh beautiful person this is someone that really nurtured you someone that loved you someone that really took you in in all your soul, all your, your, you know, your, um, really nurtured you, Virgo. And I believe this person nurtured you at a, at a moment where you were not well and a no moment where you really didn't know what your path was and you sort of lost in what, you know, what your, your, what, what your life meant you know, what your purpose was. And this person brought you in and uh, really nurtured you and probably nurtured you at that time where you weren't doing that well or you were, you know, soul searching. And this person really brought energy back into your life. Too many cards. Let's pull a card on this um, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles for the sign of Virgo. 
Oops. Nope. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for the sign of... Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow vibe. Slow and steady. Someone that comes in very slowly. So, I think you're doing this methodically. Um, this... Re rebirth of this connection, this old connection that you really, really wished for, um, Virgo. And I think that you're, you're this time around, instead of rushing into it and, you know, trying to, you know, not really thinking before acting and, you know, trying, trying to rush things in. I think this time you're this time around very methodically, very methodically, you are going to you're reflecting, you're meditating, and you you want to do this the right way, or the other person wants to do this right way. Again, vice versa. You methodically, because you don't want to get hurt again. Oh, there's another card underneath. Temperance, yes, temperance, temperance. Easy does it. You're meditating. You're you're making sure you understand how this is going to work what you want out of it and how you're going to make it work and you don't want to you don't want to mess this up virgo virgo likes to be prepared likes to fix things and help people and fix people and you know find solutions for everything and find solutions for people and make you know make things put things back together that need to be back together so you really Working this puzzle out, Virgo, and finding this way of putting things back together with this person that you loved so much. And we have the Ten of Cups over here on, on top of this. The Ten of Cups telling me that, you know, you really wish for this happy family, but you're constructing this. You're methodically thinking of this, organizing it, preparing this, making decisions step by step, understanding how this is going to work. So you don't mess it up a second time, Virgo. Or they don't mess it up a second time. Again, vice versa. Vice versa. Apply it as it is. If this is your... Is this, is this, if you connect with this reading, please leave a comment down below if you connect with this reading. This is judgment for the second time. You, are re, you, you have a rebirth. You are a new person now, Virgo. You are a new person after this, you know, this... this drama or what's not drama after this life that you had this choice that you made of sticking in that life and being in that life that didn't correspond to you but you thought it was necessary it was necessary at the moment important at that moment to be in that life even though you weren't comfortable in it it was like a wet sweater on you you know, and, and you weren't comfortable, but you needed that to survive. That was your way of surviving and getting through life and understand, you know, survival, survival. And now you're out of that zone, Virgo, where you can rebirth yourself as a new person, as an independent person. You don't have to depend on anybody. You had to depend on people, Virgo. You had to depend on people. You had to make choices where you needed people. People had to help you and you had to depend on people. And now you're out of that cycle where you don't need those people. You are you. You are rebirthing, right? It's a really revival situation where you're finally financially independent or, or emotionally independent. Take it as it is. Whatever the situation is, was that corresponded to you, you got yourself out of there to reinvent your life and you have freedom now, mental freedom, financial freedom, you know, emotional freedom, whatever corresponds to you, but you are free to go, free to open up to a new life and free to open up to this new connection or this connection that you want to bring back in that meant so much to you, your soulmate or your soul connection, Virgo. Very beautiful reading. All right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please Leave a comment below if you connected with this reading. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, also, all the monthly readings are up for the month of March for all the signs. So for, for Virgos or for cross watchers, if, you, if you're interested, you can go check those out. Thank you so much for reading. Uh, for reading. Sorry. Thank you for, so much for um for checking this uh this reading out uh i hope to see you soon until then be well